So I noticed in my first video on this channel, I didn't even introduce myself. So I'm sorry about that. But I go by the name Illy. And I hope everyone's holidays were awesome and that your New Year's will be even more awesome. I don't really celebrate the holidays or I haven't celebrated in a long time. So during, you know, during the holidays and everything, I found myself falling in love with creativity and painting again. And this is after I turned away from it for four freaking years. Four years. And to celebrate, I did a portrait just to see if I still got it, you know? Um, I was a little rusty, but I'm glad how it came out. So in today's video, I wanted to do a chill paint with me and talk about how I lost this passion and was able to fall in love with art and painting again. So how or when did it all started? So it all started when I stopped being who I was. I was in the military, already in the military for um, about, uh, I want to say five, and this is including training and basic training. I was 23. And in the military, there's this thing where um, there's cliques, like different cliques, and people love to club, drink, and hook up with a whole bunch of different um, people. And, you know, truly, I wasn't that kind of person. I was the quiet girl who liked to keep to herself, um, play video games, watch anime, and storytell. I was, I was a dork. And... That wasn't cool. People didn't think that was cool. It, back in the day, anyway, that wasn't cool. So I started to try to distance myself from that to um, feel connected or to feel some kind of connection because being in the military, I was away from family. I was away from my friends who had the same, you know, mindset, the creative mindset. And a lot of the uh, people around me didn't seek uh, joy and fun and creativity the seek it in these other activities clubbing drinking and hooking up screwing everybody basically so yeah and I'm not trying to say that clubbing drinking and hooking up is a bad thing I'm just trying to say that it wasn't me so here I was this young and not being who I was truly and trying to fit in basically and it backfired I even tried to you know um, heal the wound by dating people in the military and that also backfired you know when you you first join the military and you're young um, you figure that a lot of your life purposes would be found in the military you know, marriage, a good career, a whole bunch of friends, just, you know, everything lining up for you. But that wasn't the case for me. I was met with a lot of bullying, um, sexual harassment, which grew into depression and emotional PTSD to suicidal attempts. Like, the, I found a lot of sad and negativity. And instead of me just going back to what I knew, going back to where I found joy, passion, life, I kept trying to find it in this place that just wasn't working for me, you know? But basically, I eventually started to go into this really dark place. So I, I ended up becoming very, very depressed. Um, and I would try, I would try and paint, but I, I just couldn't find, you know, the will to, I, I would, um, you know, get my equipment, put it together and let's say my computer lagged and it was too slow. I would throw a fit, get upset. And be like, I, I don't want to do this crap anymore. I can't do this crap anymore. I, I will not deal with it. I don't have the patience anymore. So most of my days I would just sleep, really. 
But I have this uh, friend and we're still friends to this day. And she always, always keep in contact with me. Mind you, she's all the way in Australia somewhere. And she's like the closest friend I have. So, Mousy, if you're listening, hey girl. But she would always send me like her um, her paintings and her artwork. And every, every time I saw it, every time she, she sent me her stuff, it was always an improvement. And I'll be like, wow, like your work is so great, man. And I wish I had like the, the will to get back into painting again, you know. And I would tell her that she's very inspiring. But it still didn't like push me to get back into painting. It was always in the back of my mind though, like I should I should get back into art. I should get back into art. I should get back into the things I love, but I was struggling and I guess it was because of my depression. Although I did end up getting help because I had um, suicidal attempts. And uh Thanks to Mousy again, she uh, helped me not go through with it. So yeah, I ended up getting seen, had to see like a lot of counselors and um, I was even taking medication in the beginning of my treatment, but my body started to like act negatively towards it. So I weaned myself off the medications and I'm not on them anymore, but you know, I tried, I tried the medications. I tried going to church. And, you know, none of that worked. I've never felt so lonely at church and I never felt so weird. Like I felt high or really anxious when I was on those medications. But what did it for me was just one day, I think I just got sick and tired of being sick and tired and very scared to go to that dark place again. So I turned to myself and I was like, look, man, stop trying to be people you're not. You're not a Christian. You're not going to be like these military folks. Go back to what you know. Go back to what brought joy to you. And I was just like, how? And a thought come to my mind, just surround yourself around creativity. Surround yourself around creative people. And that's when I decided to um, separate from the Air Force back in 2018. So I did that and I transferred over to the reserves because, you know, I joined the military when I was a child. I was 18 years old and left when I was 28 years old. So um, making the choice to not drastically leave the military like that, I felt like it was smart because civilian life from the military is very, very different. Cultures are very different and um, easing my way into a new culture is just the best way. So when I did that, I went to uh, a new school and went as a full-time student to continue my social work um, degree. But after a couple of semesters, I realized uh, I didn't want to do social work. So I switched my major to photojournalism and uh, media production. This is when I started to surround myself around um, a creative environment. And that creative environment helped me to get back into my groove. So I wasn't quite there yet, but just having other creative people around me and doing creative things uh triggered trigger that spark for art again funny thing about all that i kept telling myself oh once i graduate and get my degree i'm gonna go back to the offers as an officer and you know <laughs> now that i'm thinking about it i'm like what kind of stockholm syndrome nonsense is that even if I wanted to go back as an officer, I couldn't because I would get disqualified with my depression and PTSD. So, you know, it, it didn't make any sense going back. Plus my partner, you know, even helped me realize that the reason why I was doing it was because I was afraid. 
because military was all I known. You know, military was all I have known. I joined when I was 18 years old and I left when I was 28. Like that's that's a long time. And to just go into the civilian world, it's a whole different culture. So it was like, you know, you just got to you just got to learn a new way and um, be your own boss and have your own mind and, and create your own path, not have to wait on somebody to tell you what to do, you know. So. I was happy to have that conversation with him. He helped me realize that. But it wasn't my partner that kicked me back into creativity. It was his grandfather. So his grandfather's an artist as well. And I did a documentary about him. And this documentary was so inspiring. I What I learned from it is that life is too short. And if you have a passion, go for it. He kept saying throughout the documentary, I'm so... I'm so happy to have this talent, this skill, and that I'm I'm still able to do it, you know? To this day, he's still painting. That's, just do it. Like, if you have a passion and a love for something, don't shun it. Go towards it. That's where your joy, that's where your life, that's where all the positivity comes from, from what you love, you know? So if you have it, man don't don't run away from it go towards it if you want to paint butterflies in a field do it that's the least you could do for yourself you know have some love for yourself and, and go after your passions but i also learned from grandpa and doing a documentary about him is that he's been through some things too he's been through some hard times and um art was just his medicine (laughs) painting and being creative was his go-to to to help him get through it and i felt like i mean i'm not trying to minimize um ptsd or depression it's it's a hard it's a hard situation to go through you know but the moment i surrounded myself in that i i started to feel better the the more i got away from um the triggers and the the environment that was bringing me down and i went to where i found love and passion i started to feel better i i know i'm not 100 percent cured Like, I'm pretty sure if I had to go back in a similar environment, I'd be freaking out. But um, this art is what's getting me through. It's always been that way throughout my whole life, through high school, um, military, college. It has always been just diving into being creative. So that's how I found my passion and I'm so happy, like, I, I never thought I would be doing this again. I thought it was just a face, like, oh, I was only doing that because I was a kid. No, it's, it's, it's my life. I feel like this is my purpose, why I'm brought into this world to be creative. <laughs>